In keeping with the theme of customization within Cakewalk by BainLab, now we're going to cover FX chains. These are completely customizable chains of effects that you can build from scratch. To implement the usage of an FX chain, I'm simply going to go to the FX bin located here and right click. You'll see now that the option arises to insert FX chain. I'll go ahead and select that now. As you can see, there's a small interface that's presented before me that's entitled FX chain. The wonderful thing about this FX chain is that it can be completely customized to meet your needs. Essentially, by building your own custom plugin change, you can, in a sense, create your own custom plugins. So let's begin to build something, maybe let's say for a vocal. By double clicking in the plugin name box, I can change the name of the plugin. Okay, so we're going to call this one the Vocal FX Chain. What's more is, by right clicking in this area here, I can completely customize the user interface. By selecting that option, it then brings up this sub menu of settings that allows me to change the background image, the preset background image, the fader cap image, button image, and rotary image, and even select the preset colors that I would like to use within my FX Chain. I've selected a background image file now from my external drive, and I'm going to go ahead and implement that now. As you can see, this has become completely customizable. Nearly any picture can be used to customize this interface as well. I'm going to choose this darker formatted one here and hit OK. All right, that looks better. Now I'm going to insert an instance of a plugin that will be used in this vocal FX chain. By right clicking in this portion down here, it will then let me insert an audio effect. I'm going to go with the VX64 vocal strip as it's something I typically always use anyway. Now you can see at the bottom of the vocal FX chain that the VX64 vocal strip has been added to this particular chain. I'm going to go ahead and enable the de the Compander section, and the Doubler. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to leave most of these at their stock setting for now, and then I'm going to take the Presence all the way down here, and we're going to actually use that in just a moment. All right, so going after the VX64 vocal strip, maybe I want to add another instance of a de -esser. I can do that here. And now I have another instance of a de after this in the signal chain. The great thing about this is that at any time, these plugins can be swapped and moved at your leisure. Okay, and lastly, I'm going to insert an instance of some saturation. I'm going to insert the TL64 tube leveler here. This will add just a little bit of saturation to the vocals. Now I can begin to actually implement the various knobs and buttons and map them to the various controls that are found on each individual plugin to create my vocal chain. Okay, so I'm going to add a knob here. I'm going to call this one Doubler. I'll place this in the first position, and the destination is going to be set here. I'll go under the vocal strip, and I'll map this to the presence. My start point is going to be at 0%, meaning that the doubler presence knob on the actual VX64 vocal strip is going to be turned completely down. And my end will be at 100%, meaning that at that portion, when this knob is turned to 100%, that the presence will be all the way up. All right, so as you can see, I have a doubler knob now that can be adjusted. And if I open the VX64 vocal strip, You'll notice that as I turn the doubler knob, it also adjusts the presence. Okay, let's say that I would like to add a button, for instance, something that I could use for automation that would just turn this off and on seamlessly. I can simply do that here by right-clicking and going to Add Button. I'm going to call this Enable Doubler, and I'll put this on position 1 as well. The destination is going to be to the VX64 vocal strip, doubler, enable. 
All right, now you can see that by clicking this button, it enables or disables the doubler. This will now make it easier for me to set a doubler setting and then simply enable or disable it from my automation take lanes. So one thing that I'm starting to notice is that the background that I've selected for this vocal FX chain is starting to hide the wording that's underneath my buttons and my knobs. So I'm gonna right click in this portion, go to customize the UI, and for label text color, I'm gonna set this to white. Much better. Next, I'm gonna add a knob for the de -esser. I'm gonna set this one to position two. And for the destination, we're going to go to the de -esser located here. I'm gonna set this knob for the threshold of the de -esser. As you can see now, I have a control knob that will control the threshold on this de -esser plugin. If at any time I would like to change the location of a button, I can simply right click on it and go to edit control. Let's say I would like to have this in position six instead. Now, as you can see, it's over here on position six. By default, in most of the user interfaces, the knobs will be located here on positions one through six, and the buttons will be located here on positions one through six. Okay, I'm gonna move that back to where I had it and hit okay. Okay, and now just like before, I'm adding a bypass button for this deesser. I'm gonna go back and rename this button bypass as well. Much better. All right, and the last thing in the chain is the tube leveler. With the tube leveler, we're gonna do something just a little bit different. We're gonna map its controls to two different things at once. I'm gonna add a knob here and call this grit. For the first destination, I'm gonna use this for the drive. For the second destination, I'm gonna use this for clipping. And for the third destination, I'm gonna use this for the output gain. Now from the use of one single button, I can control all three things at once. All right, now I'm gonna create another bypass button. And there we have it. We have now just built a vocal effects chain that is completely customized to how we would want it to look, feel, and even act. The great thing about this too is you have your input and your output settings here as well. And if at any time you would like to hear what your vocal effects chain is doing to the signal as it's being processed, it has a global enable or disable here. As you can see, there is a whole wide variety of things that can be done with this. And really all I've been doing is just scratching the surface of the capabilities of these completely customizable FX chains. So now that I have a chain that I'm happy with, I'm gonna go ahead and right click here and go to save FX chain preset. I'm gonna save this now in my Cakewalk core folder under vocal FX chain. The save as type is gonna be a .fxc. I'll simply hit save. Now I'm going to delete that. By going back to the FX bin and right clicking, I can go to insert FX chain preset here. And here is my vocal FX chain preset. By selecting the extract FX change plugins, it will then place all of the plugins back into the FX bin in the order that they were placed in the FX chain. If at any time I should wanna go in and delete things or rearrange things. If I find myself working on a track and I'm using a set series of plugins that I feel are working very well for that track, and I also feel like it might be something that I'd like to use in the future for another bass track, vocal track, or guitar track, for instance, then all I have to do is go to the effects bin, 
And at the very bottom, you can see I can convert this FX rack to an FX chain. Therefore, instead of having to insert them manually at the bottom of this, like we just did previously, I can just simply have them all loaded at once. And just as previously stated, I can drag these around however I would like as well. So yet again, this is just another completely awesome customizable feature that's found within Cakewalk by BandLab that a lot of other DAWs still have yet to catch up with. I would be interested to know, by the way, what kind of personal FX change that you can come up with. And if you come up with something very interesting, please share that with me on my social media accounts.